Welcome to my garage. Welcome to this week's episode of Awesome On Ally, coming to you straight from my garage as usual. This week we have a great show. We're gonna start it off with the top five videos of the week. Then we've got a great product review for you that's guaranteed to unleash the child that lurks inside. Then we are gonna talk a little bit about, well, Mickey Mouse and Darth Vader. It's a dark child after all. All that. Plus more this week on Awesome on Out. All right, here we go again with the top five videos of the week here on Awesome on Ally. We're gonna start things off with one of my Finnish friends snowboarding in, well, Finland. Oh my God. Snowboard season just started in Finland and Aero Etela was there for day one. Although you can't tell it's day because it's completely dark out. <laughs> Check it out. Era Etela, day one, snowboarding in Finland. That's Aero Atala, and he's snowboarding in Finland, and it's dark out. And the number four video this week, Connor and Parker Coffin in Bali. These guys ever ride any place that's kind of miserable? No, every time you see footage of these guys, they're either in Mexico, El Salvador, Bali, Fiji. Getting really sick of the Coffin brothers and their antics. Check it out, from Young Wise Tales, Connor and Coffin shredding in Bali. <laughs> This week, snowboarding. I ride Park City, the full movie. And here they are making short work of the resort last season. This is it. I ride Park City, the full movie, 2012. You can't touch this. Yo, sound the bell. School is in. So you can't touch this. You can't touch this. You better get a hype, boy, because you know you can't. You can't touch this. And the number two video this week, Thrasher Magazine presents Austin Gillette, Austin Unlimited, the full part. Check it out, one of the most stylish street skaters in the business, Austin Gillette, doing what he does best. video of the week is this girl right here. Check it out. This is the future. Girls spinning 540s and Mike McGill was there to witness it. Here we go. Big twist 540. Mike McGill's here watching it. Big twist 540. Come on crowd. Fire up. Keep the noise going. Awesome. Big twist. Yeah! year old, a lot 
Donna Smith landing the 540 McTwist. She's the second girl in history to ever do that. All right, so that wraps up the top five videos of the week. All right, more top five videos coming at you every single week here on Awesome on Ally. Let's go check out some other stuff in the show. In breaking entertainment news this past week, Disney and George Lucas announced a partnership that has left nerds screaming in terror. You don't think I've noticed that? Hop into the songs that I used to know. Oh, 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 hey, Goofy. Is it going to be in good hands? I tend to think so. No! I know you're upset and it's all a little shocking. Disney now has control of the Marvel Universe after they bought that whole thing. And we've all seen how those Marvel movies have come out in the past couple years with the Avengers and Iron Man and all that business. They've all been great. Great directors, a great product. To get the Star Wars franchise out of the hands of George Lucas. Because come on, let's admit for a minute, he's kind of lost his marbles with that thing. Jar Jar Binks, are you kidding me? Actually, I try to ignore the whole one, two, three as just some kind of strange abomination. I mean, I, li I, mean, I like it because I like Star Wars, but I, I don't like it. I mean, there's a couple director's cuts out there on the internet. If you watch those and they eliminate all the garbage that he put in there just for the kids, it's awesome. If it gets away from George Lucas and we have someone come in to direct it, like say, Joss Whedon or Peter Jackson or someone that loves the franchise and would actually have a great way to portray the new stories of the aging Luke, the aging Han, the aging Leia, and the new rise of whatever it is going to be. Please let it be a movie about Boba Fett being a bounty hunter and none of the other whining Ewokie type crap. I know that's not gonna happen, but I wish it would. To put the direction into the hands of a fan not some guy who's had too much control over this and has given us walking teddy bears and a duck-billed platypus that walks around with a strange Jamaican accent. No, we want someone who will take this seriously, give us the stories we want to hear, and bring back the feel of The Empire Strikes Back to the rest of the Star Wars trilogy, six, 10, 12 more, I don't care how many movies they make, let's just make them good. I'm all for it. We'll have to see. 2015, the new movie drops. That's not much time. My watch says it's almost 2013. Could it be that this movie is already under production? Who knows? This is amazing. I feel alive again. You are watching. Awesome on Hawaii. You remember back when you were a kid and your parents would buy you something really expensive only to have it break five minutes later? Nothing's really changed. However, the toys are way cooler. Check it out right here. Ken Block's new RC car brought to you by HPI Racing. This is a serious, serious big boy toy. Right down to the livery on the side of this thing, it is a scale replica of Ken Block's Gymkhana 5 rally car. It is a brushless motor RC car, top of the line by HPI, four wheel drive, which means you can drift this sucker through dirt. It's so damn fun. I flipped this thing over, and this is one of the best things about it. The bottom of this thing is not plastic, it's metal. And why does that make a big difference? Well, it protects the innards of the RC car, first and foremost, from the stuff you run over in the street. Rocks, sand, cats, feet, whatever. Yes, drop it. Pick up my wallet, you know that the dollar's dropping, kid. Fix up the prom, so create more, a lot of issues. I'm gonna show you the inside of this thing. Ooh. Check it out. <laughs> this car absolutely screams 60 miles an hour or more using this battery right here. It's a 60 mile an hour rocket ship that can bust a person's ankle in a split second. I should know. My son has driven it into my ankle at full speed. And it does not feel awesome. You see right here, you've got, you know, you've got adjustable sway bars, you've got adjustable suspension, you can adjust the links here. I mean, check it out. You ever seen an RC car with a, with a front and rear adjustable sway bar system? 
I've never seen that before. Another big thing about this, 2.4 gigahertz uh, RC controller, which means, well, you've got a lot of range with this thing. Ken Block worked in partnership with HPI to create this wonderful piece of modern technology that you can rip around out in the dirt lot or in front of your house or terrorize the neighborhood pets. This thing is where it's at. Look how happy Ken looks right there. He's so stoked, you'll be stoked too. All right, so that's it for this week's Awesome on Ally. If you want to drop me a tweet, hit me up at B, as in Boba Fett, Todd Richards, or send me an email at awsm at allysports.com. All right, join us again here next week. More top five videos, more rants by me, and more sweet product reviews. Bye.